So I've been engaged now by about three or four truckies who have ended up in the exact same situation because of the green stuff and their license. Firstly, driving a truck is both physically and mentally demanding. And for many truckies, they have terrible sleep schedules because of the amount of driving they have to do a day, when they arrive, when their destination is. So it's not uncommon with the help of a doctor to be prescribed the green stuff. This is usually to help them with chronic pain, it's to help them with muscle injury, it's to help them sleep. Now, the number of truckies that I have had who've reached out to me and said, I took medication three days ago to sleep, I took the THC tincture and I fell asleep and now I've got charged while driving my car with driving with illicit substance in system is profound. And it's one of the failures in our driving regulations that you can legally have the substance with the help of a doctor, but you can't drive on it. Even though there are other substances which we know cloud your mind, and you can drive on them. And the problem is that this issue is not particularly well explained to people. They think, oh, I've got a doctor's note, it'll be fine, when legally speaking, it's not. And so it creates these impossible situations for many people who depend on their license to drive for their livelihood, think they have the permission, they've done the right thing, and yet get in trouble. The appropriate thing to do is if you receive a suspension in this way is to get some advice, potentially appeal it, and explain it to a court. And I've found courts to tend to be incredibly sympathetic when people get caught up in these ridiculous legal fictions that cause enormous distress. Follow me for more legal TikTok.